ding off this pull. It's gonna be close. Might have to do one more though. I mean, we're gonna do that last pull anyway for the video, but. Oh, we're gonna ding for sure. This Basilisk can ding us. Yeah, level 40, boys! Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I'm going to show you how I leveled my 3800 of 40 in Oldemon Solo. It was absurdly fast, and it took me less than two hours, even with me talking in the chat and messing up some. Once I got the farm down, I was getting over 200,000 XP per hour. It was also comically easy compared to mage AoE farming. My level 40 mage with close to full Gnomer Biss clears less mobs slower than my level 3800 was able to. My hunter was crazy fast to level. I created her Tuesday when the XP buff dropped, and I was able to get 1 to 40 in 1 day, 5 hours playtime. While I leveled normally most of the way, I was trap launcher AoE farming from 36 to 40, which is what I'm going to be going over today. For talents, I did this as deep survival. The key talents are clever traps, which increases the duration of frost traps and the damage of explosive trap. Trap mastery is also big, never got a single resist with this talent. For runes, we are using lone wolf, exposed weakness, serpent spread, trap launcher, and explosive shot. I was also able to get all of these runes while solo leveling. Unfortunately, Lone Wolf was a bit expensive, it comes from the Ratchet vendor, and the parts for it were costly. It is massive though. My clear times were much faster with Lone Wolf than with Heart of the Lion. If you don't have the gold though, just use Heart of the Lion. If you need help getting these runes on your hunter, check out my friend Solid Jake's YouTube channel. This guy has been one of my best friends for over 10 years now. We used to do podcasts and Heroes of the Storm content together back in the day. He's a great guy and a fantastic hunter. I recommend checking out his rune videos and hunter content if you're considering leveling one. Seriously, check out his channel, linked below. Our gear, I actually had really mid gear. It was all level 20 to 30 greens. I had no BFD loot or pre bis loot purchased. No crazy expensive BOE blues. As you can see here, there is nothing crazy. I also have zero professions leveled, since it's a fresh tune, so I hope this puts into perspective how easy it is. You'll want to get Aspect of the Viper, it drops off the bosses in Scarlet Monastery. So you'll want to be spamming this place starting at level 30. Viper is required for this farm. The mana regen it gives is what enables this build. For pets, this is just as important as everything else. You will want a cat for this farm with both Prowl and Dash. Tame one of the Stranglethorn Tigers for Dash. After that, I recommend taming one of the Badlands Ridge Stalkers at level 36 or 37. You will need to level it to 38 before doing this farm. When I tried to do Ulda with a 36 or 37 cat, dwarf mobs we stealth pass were able to see it. I stopped having this problem when the cat was level 38. Okay, so you have your runes, you have your cat at 38 with Prowl and Dash, you have Aspect of the Viper, now, you are ready for the Oldemon farm. I started this farm at level 38, so I was doing smaller pulls in some of the level 40 Oldemon farms you've seen. I was specifically avoiding the non elite dwarves that are immune to slow, as well as the rock dudes that drop pendulum. They were a bit too hard to do at level 38. While I was able to clear them sometimes, it was just too hard with my current gear level. In order to maximize XP per hour, I started skipping them. Once you start, you are greeted by the boss and some dwarves behind this door. Run to the left, and get behind these wood planks. You won't aggro anything. You can walk through them so it's really easy to get into position. Now the cool thing about these pulls is when you aggro all the bats, scorpions, and trogs, when they run back to the front, they will not aggro the dwarves. Because there are different mob types, they don't social. You can fully avoid them and the boss if you want to. I was able to do the following three pulls really easily in 12 minute lockouts. Start the pull by making sure your cat is in prowl then cast Eyes of the Beast. Avoid the dwarves and get to this fork. From here, we have three paths we can take for all of our pulls. Warning, the hardest part of these pulls is avoiding days on your cat. You want to make it to the end of each pull before your cat dies. And sometimes, days will cause your cat to die before you get everything you want. Make sure you're using dash efficiently and facing mobs as much as possible to avoid days. For pull one, I like to take this middle path. I grab this pat here, and then sprint up the middle. I like doing the middle route first because it clears some of the mobs out of the way for the second pull, making it less likely you get days for that one. Follow this path here and go all the way to the end, aggroing the non-elite scorpions. Then let your pet die. 
You will then want to cast res for half a second to dismiss your pet. This will give you the lone wolf benefits. We then run to our kill spot. I'll go over the kill phase here in a bit. For pull 2, you will take this right path. Here we are getting these beasts, these non-elite squirps, and as many trogs that we can get. The oracles are really a non-issue, so pull as many trogs as you can. For pull 3, we go to the left, get all of the bats, and the non-elite squirps. And then the boss that we left at the entrance. These three pulls are on average 70 plus mobs in 13 minutes, getting me over 50,000 XP per reset. It was an insane XP per hour. For the kill phase, you want to make sure you have Aspect of the Hawk on if you are full mana. Place your Frost Trap at the bottom of the stairs and wait for the mobs to trigger it. Then, juggle the mobs until they are all clumped. From here, it's honestly pretty simple. You want to pry an Explosive Trap on cooldown. It's an absurd amount of damage. Also, always keep your Frost Trap on the ground. You then use Explosive Shot and Multi Shot on cooldown to maximize your rune damage. I'll also spam Arcane Shot when I can on the higher level elites. Literally, just use these abilities on cooldown until all the mobs die. For Aspects, a good rule I've been following is if I dip below 10% mana, I swap to Viper. Once I am back over 90% mana, I swap back to Hawk, repeating this for the entire pull. That's really it. I hope I'm not offending Hunter mains by repeating this over and over, but I was blown away by how easy it was. Having a permafrost trap on the ground just makes controlling the mobs so much easier than the mage AoE farms. And then of course you don't have to risk yourself dying because you have your pet pulling everything. Like I mentioned before, my 3800 with no consumes, no world buffs, or professions had an easier time than my nearly full bis mage with full professions, full world buffs, and full consumes. I seriously can't wait till my hunter is close to full bis. This farm will be a joke then. In terms of gold per hour, it's okay. There are definitely better gold farms, probably selling calf boosts. If you can find people who want to buy Ulda boost, that'll help a lot here, but I was only making 20 gold per hour not boosting. I am traditionally a warrior and mage main. While I have experience boosting, I do not consider myself an experienced hunter. I'm sure there are some important tips and tricks I missed for this video. That being said, I hope that helps push my point. This is a really chill way to make gold. If you're having trouble deciding what alt to play, hunters seem like they're going to be pretty wild for the rest of Sod. I'm still a mage main, nothing is going to change that. Hunter be cool though. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I stream my guild's raids on this channel every Sunday and Wednesday night. I will also be starting a Season of Discovery podcast with my buddy Solid Jake, so keep your eyes out for that as well. Take care boys and see you in the next one. Hey guys, Galtorek here. This is my level 39 Hunter doing solo Oldemon for XP, and here is a full clear. Alright, this pull, I'm gonna go all the way to the oracles. Hopefully, I don't get dazed. Don't get dazed, don't get dazed. I probably should say sprint, but. Don't get dazed, don't get dazed. Hope those guys aggro. Did they not aggro? They did aggro, perfect. Okay. Oh, those ambushers, they didn't aggro. Okay, cool, perfect. All right, perfect. All righty. I passed revive pet to get rid of my pet, so I have a little wolf buff. All right, so that first pull took a minute and 20 seconds to get done. And now let's see where we're at when we finish the kill phase. I don't think we're going to pull the boss with this pull because we have the oracles that heal. Oh, get off of uh, Viper, that's for sure. Okay. I'm still in combat, so they're coming. All right, here we go. Get an or uh, Oracle targeted, ideally. 
Oof, that was not the best trap placement. I need to get one of those oracles targeted. Get this one a little lower on the ground. There we go, now we got an oracle targeted. targeting. All right, back to Viper. We're Oom. Need Anna for explosive trap. Okay. Totem back there. Perfect. All right, back to full mana. Back to Aspect of the Hawk. Healing wards, okay. We really want to kill off these oracles because they are the most annoying things right now. Back to Viper. Okay, oracle one down, another oracle about to go down. We are going to face tank this uh, scorpion for a second just to get these guys a little better clumped. Perfect. Now they're perfectly clumped. Easy peasy. Wow, this pull went well. All right, we're almost full mana. Back to Hawk. Go ahead and kill that guy. Looks like there's another Oracle in there. I need to find them. There he is in the back. I mean, that was a huge first pull. I don't know how much experience I got, but... Oh, back to Viper. We're almost Oom. Explosive Trap here in a second. As soon as I get sick of mana. There we go. Now it's just the Carvers that ran away that are left. It looks like he's just running away, not even targeting me. I can't tell. Oh, that was a different guy I was targeting. No wonder my spells weren't going off. He's around the corner. There's one guy left. Go ahead and swap back to Hawk. There he is. And he's dead. So four and a half minutes for that first pull. 20,000 experience in five minutes. Holy cow. That's a pretty good XP. Let's go ahead and revive our pet so we can start getting him happy and health. Then we'll finish looting. Bags are almost full, though. I guess I didn't need to buy all these extra arrows, because I'm leveling way faster than I thought. All right, get you healed. Put back the Viper. Uh, keep healing him. All right, next pull. So that was all the trog. So this pull is going to be the um, middle row to the scorpions. And if we can get more than that, we will, but. I mean, we might level off this next pull, so shit. Those the aggro. Come on, you squirps. They're not really gonna aggro? What do I gotta do? There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get to these end squirps. I'm already at 760 HP though, so I might not be able to make it to them. Did we get them? I think we got them. Nice, perfect. We will do the boss with this one. Alright, revive pet to get rid of them, so you have lone wolf buff. We will be pulling the like, obsidian sentinel. Go ahead and get Hunter's Mark on them. Here they come. Frost Trap out. Looks like one was way ahead of the others. Go ahead and pull the boss. Jump up. 
I really messed up the positioning of that frost trap, so these guys are like poorly clumped for sure. Get that one down there. Oh. All right, we got this. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, I'm still on Viper. Go to Hawk. All right, so a lot of the desync mobs are those non-elite scorpions, so they will die soon enough. Like, they're already almost dead, so... You really want it, since there's no healers in this pool, you really just want to focus all of your damage on the boss, the Obsidian Sentinel. That way he dies the same time as all the other mobs from the casual AoE. All right, back to Viper, we're Oom. See if we level off this pool. trap in a really bad spot. Gotta be careful of those mouse overs. Okay, we're about to go back to Viper. Shard, he can hit me all he wants. Are we gonna ding off this pull? It's gonna be close. Might have to do one more though. I mean, we're gonna do that last pull anyway for the video, but. Oh, we're gonna ding for sure. This Basilisk could ding us. Yeah, level 40, boys! Hunter's 40! So in nine minutes, that last mob would have given us an extra 1500 XP, so. That would have been like 35k, 36k right there in nine minutes. And we got one more pull we would have done. So that would have been like, I don't know, probably 50k XP per lockout. And we can do uh, five of them per hour because these are pretty fast. So you're looking at like 250,000 XP per hour if you're doing it clean. I don't know if I'm going to use Warp and Sting, but I saw the Hunters using this for this villain, so... Okay. Let's get him healed up, and then we will do the last pull, just to squeeze it in for the video. And this last pull is super easy, too. It's, like, easier than these two. If you're doing it while leveling, at least. There's, like, bigger level 40 pulls you can do that have, like, the level 44 mobs, but for leveling, I thought it was easier, to, or safer just to do it this way. Alright. Oh, we can just walk forward. We don't even have to, like... Worry about the boss now. Okay. Eyes of the Beast. Let's go. All right, let's squeeze, see if we can squeeze this last pull in here in uh, four and a half minutes. And this last pull is going to be super easy. We're not even going far. Dog. Don't get dazed. Don't get dazed. That guy not aggro? We got dazed. No! No! We want to make it to the scorpions! Okay, we made it to the scorpions. Alright, we die here. And then we just kill them here. So on Viper, go to Hawk. Ah, 
Back to Viper, I'm Oom. Boom. 13 minutes, 56 mobs. Well, actually, actually more than 56 because they didn't track this last group because of the XP stuff, I think, right? We're looking at like 150k to 200k XP per hour, though, with how fast I'm killing these mobs. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, really, I mean, I got this Hunter 40 so fast. Once I got um, Explosive Trap and Trap Launcher, like 36 to 40 was a breeze, so. Um, if you're wanting to level a Hunter, it's like way easier to do the farms on them and they're super fast to level so thanks for watching the video